It is the year 2217 in the beautiful city of St. Petersburg, Florida. It is a world filled with love, happiness, and the Tampa Bay Rays have won the World Series. Old St. Nick is the last founding member of the University of South Florida St. Petersburg Alpha Phi Omega chapter. Well, that's a story for another time. Every semester when new recruits come along, Old St. Nick loves to tell his favorite story. The story of Christian the Great of Alpha Phi Omega. Let me tell y'all a story from when I was a petitioner about 200 years ago. I know y'all are probably wondering how in the world is this man still alive 200 years later. Well, I'm not going to share that story with y'all today. I'll save that for another day. So the naysayers might say it was a myth, but see, I was there in 2017. Chapter 1. A long time ago, on the first day of classes, there was a young freshman fellow going by the name of Christian Figueroa sitting all by himself in the USF St. Pete Reef Dining Hall. Yes, you. Let's get back to the story now. So anyways, Christian was new to USF St. Pete. He didn't have many friends. When all of a sudden, Christian noticed a flyer for a new organization at the campus called Alpha Phi Omega lying right next to his arm. It said that Alpha Phi Omega was a national service fraternity working to petition on campus. That's a national service fraternity. Let the story happen, okay? You are in a book, remember. I'm the one who's supposed to be sharing the daggone story. I don't even see that way. <clears throat> As I was saying, Christian was interested, even though he didn't know exactly what to expect from the fraternity. But he decided to give it a whirl and try out the club. On the next Sunday at 7 p.m., Christian decided to make the long trek to the Alpha Phi Omega meeting in SLC 2101. Since it was the first meeting of the semester, President Amber explained what APO stands for and why you should join APO. Alpha Phi Omega is a national service fraternity that is based on the principles of leadership, friendship, and service. It's a great way to network with organizations and charities in the area, such as Pet Pal and Casa, other students at USFSP, and other brothers at different universities. Amber goes on to talk about the different events APO plans that follow the principles of service, friendship, and leadership. Leadership is very important in APO. We create leaders. Everyone has the opportunity to be a leader and build your resume. With over 350 chapters in the world, APO is an organization where either someone knows a brother, is a brother, or has heard of Alpha Phi Omega. Also, we are working with others to learn more about leadership, such as collaborating with USF Tampa in their APO chapter. It is an amazing opportunity for anyone trying to build their resume. The second principle that APO stands for is friendship. This basically means we get to hang out and do fun activities together called fellowships. Some fellowships we do include our monthly game night with free food, sports games such as USF football, potlucks, kayaking, and finally, our fall tradition of fall into fall with APO. It's where we have a bonfire with s'mores plus games and friends. It's a lot of fun. Service is very important to Alpha Omega. Some of the service projects we have done in the past include volunteering at a 5K run for St. Jude, winning top raising team in dance marathon 2016, walking in the MLK parade, and my personal favorite is playing with cats and dogs at Pet Pal Animal Shelter. APO is very open to any organization, so any issue or charity you would like to volunteer with, come to a meeting on Sunday at 7 p.m. in SLC 2101 and tell us. As time went on, Christian became more and more confident in himself and became best friends with all of the APO members. <clears throat> Years later, <clears throat> Christian created his awesome legacy, and I've, I've already said too much. Uh, you'll just have to hear the rest of it at the meeting on Sunday. I've, I've got to get going. The FBI's after me.